so the car car was on charge all night now we're gonna see the real truth about the wrench degradation in id4 uh hello um uh, just want to show you the real uh, truth about uh, the battery degradation as i said this car uh, is a taxi car which is under extreme pressure it drives every day so i've got this car about four months ago exactly four months ago okay so i'll show you i made um i made uh i tell you now stop i made twenty-two thousand kilometers so i made one second 22,571 kilometers within four months when i got this car initially say after full charge after long term zeroing in so i would zero in long term right it would show me here 532 kilometers okay now today uh, today i just zeroed it in it was 509 i zeroed in it's 507 so that's how in my subjective opinion that that wears out you know the battery is going down so you got the idea right so long term since charge since start zeroed in or oh, 506 yeah and uh, as well to say that was colder environment uh, and now it's almost summer so it's not that cold anymore like you know so it's approximate so 506 versus 532 on the paper uh, these cars are some leaflets some prints out saying 517 the range yeah the average range some say 530 so this one is 532 that's uh, uh, the biggest i've got usually it was 526 so and this is after zero in it okay now um this car i tell you i'm very happy with this car very happy it's very nice very nice car the only issue i'm getting is a taxi driver right the back seat back the seat back seat the the uh, the belts belts the safety belts people always struggle to fasten them in because design is not great for the clips you know they, they tr struggle to find especially if they uh, too big or the overweight people or drunk people they cannot get it in it's very difficult everyone struggles this too small they have to be bigger they have to make them bigger like it's for taxis right there's always a problem that's a minus okay so another minus is of course this one i'm not really happy with the that the way it's it works here for for windows so you have to always swipe here to close the rear and sometimes you say windows are open and so you passing by some dusty place some truck going by and there's a lot of dust you find sometimes difficult to close on time the window and because of this swipe it just gets confused you know so otherwise it's perfect otherwise it's good car the materials are great here it's really made quality made quality made yeah absolutely drives brilliantly it's very fast um you know i just i'm really enjoying it but that's the truth now the truth now it would need on some stage a uh, new battery anyway in the years yeah so but what they say they say it's going degrade a bit faster in the beginning and then it slows down so and i do charge always to 100 percent because i need the range with my work and it never stays on 100 percent long time anyway it's just for a few hours and unfortunately i can't it's not i want to be on safe side and it always is on safe side i never like yesterday I came, it was like 49% and I drove like 11 hours. So it's it's more than enough, even for the taxi job, yeah? But of course, I'm not driving every day 11 hours, but it's almost always enough. 
I never had to charge publicly yet. It's always enough my home charging. So, yeah, that's how this car is for me. Another thing is infotainment. Yes, it's it's okay. People say it's not perfect. Yes, I do agree. There is things here, and it's a bit sometimes it's confusion when they say somebody tried to phone you and it's hooked up. Sometimes you find hard to respond, and you have to dig through pages list to find how to respond. You know, it is um, it is a bit. Uh, it's not perfect. I agree with that, but it's okay. It's just basic. It's more, I think, on uh, driving, you know, it's all on driving, everything. So, other thing I'm using, uh, when I'm driving, I'm using B-Mode mostly, because I'm driving the city. Uh, but uh, definitely what I learned, uh, I think it is, it's absolutely, it's best to drive on motorway with D-Mode, yeah. <coughs> I think you get better range if you drive on D-Mode on the long runs. In cities, definitely be mode, definitely be mode. So you try to use it, try to get a feel for the car. So instead of, if you see, say, there's a traffic light or you have to slow down, just release the gas and let it regenerate and it slows down as well. So this way you get some power back and your uh, uh, brake parts and all that is going to be more durable than you know the, it's going to, you're going to get more life so try to use that b mode and get used to your car use that regeneration instead of brakes right and this is for city okay i forgot this is the 82 battery 82 kilowatt battery and the 77 usable on this one so this is pro it's mid spec it's not Pro S, it's just a mid-spec, which is, I'm happy with that. I don't, I really don't need that uh, top spec, all this parking, uh, crazy self-parking, all this electrical opening, and I think it would be, wouldn't be that good for this, for taxi work. So, I, I the only thing I would, I, I regret it, this car doesn't have is a theft alarm. That would be great. That's the only thing I would say I'm missing. But other all, other those advantages which top spec has uh, it doesn't bother me at all, you know. So yeah, that's basically it. I might forget. Uh, all these materials are great. Materials are good. I'm happy that piano black. I don't see any problem. It's actually kind of cool as well. You can wipe it out. It's always then clothes looks always looks fresh. If someone scratches it, you can you just can wipe it. It's just it's very durable. It's not that I don't know how people find it scratched. It cannot be scratched. It was scratched many times, and I was managed to with microfiber cloth take it off. You know. Um, yeah, yeah. So it's really cool. I like this car. The only thing here, while you drive, uh, there is a lane assist here and the adaptive cruise control. Uh, it's just assist, and uh, I noticed there could be a, some, uh, what's called, uh, it could be some, uh, uh, not a problem, just you have to pay attention. Sometimes it's not uh, working as you expect in the way, if you say, you have to make sure your adaptive cruise control actually feeling that obstacle in front of you, another car or something in front of you. This is very important because that speeds up. And sometimes if you say going, uh, if say some, the car in front of you is turning or you're approaching uh, some roundabout, right? Something around the, around the band. It has a blind spot somehow and it doesn't feel. The car is in front of you, but it, that it doesn't catch it on time and it's just going very fast. And if you see, it's not feeling that obstacle in front of you, you know? So that's a bit like a dark spot. It's like gray area. So I'm very kind of aware of it. So, yeah, I'm, I'm always trying to be very cautious because that's the thing, you know. I think those beams or whatever, those sensors, they don't cover fully. There is some dark spots, as I said, so I'm repeating myself again. But in most, it's good. But main thing, what I said, the degradation in four months from 532 kilometers to 506 kilometers. And that's the truth. That's the, how it is. It's a nominal, okay, nominal. Of course, when you start driving, it gets gets lower, yeah? 
So that's how it is. Thank you very much.